international LGBT news headlines from Pink 60. New South Wales police have reopened investigations into the deaths of 88 gay men who they now suspect were victims of a murder campaign. The police minister at the time says in the 1980s police would not pursue inquiries into gay deaths. Three gay men have been murdered in Tampa, Florida over the past two months with police arresting one man and closing in on three others. Dante Lampkins was shot last week, Bill Denham was beaten to death three weeks ago and William McGough was stabbed in December. It's been reported that a court in the Lebanon has decreed homosexuality is not unnatural and therefore not illegal. According to Israel Hayom, the judges ruled that homosexuality is a personal choice and is not a punishable offence. Queen Elizabeth has approved posthumous pardons to thousands of men historically convicted of having gay sex. Those still living can apply to have their records erased, so long as their conviction is not still a criminal offence. And finally, the UK's LGBT History Month starts today, celebrating 50 years since the partial decriminalisation of homosexuality. This year's theme is about citizenship, which seems appropriate given recent events. Well, that's all from us for today. Join us again tomorrow for more of the latest LGBT news headlines. And you can find out more about these and other news stories by searching for hashtag Pink60 on social media.